What's up, guys? It's your girl, Matt Cox, with M.A. Couture Crafting, where we discuss all things pop culture. And today is another quilty celebration video, and we are going to get to celebrating. This is a good one. Um, it is on the subtle side, in a way. Uh, I can't wait to show it to you guys. So let's get started. I call it subtle. I don't know that it's subtle. It is just... When I look at this, I think all that I'm seeing is happening really from one or two shapes. So, of course, we're going to get into it. The color story is very simple. It's uh, three colors. You got your blue, you got your yellow, and you got your white. Still striking. There is some elegance and simplicity. And it was just executed so well. And because of these shapes coming together, they've made some very interesting secondary designs. So let's get into it. This is a quilt by George Dana Brobson. I'm really excited that I purchased this book and I kept it. I am so happy. If you guys ever go to a big show and they have a book, get the book because then you can see the names. I was just doing some other ones and I was like, what name is that? So let's get into George um, Dana Brab Brabson. And this was entered in the Large Quilts first entry in an AQS Paducah Quilt Contest. So I love that this is large. I think I like the large category. I know I do. It's one of my favorite categories. So let's look at this. Let's see what we got here. Um, this is the shape that I think everything is working off of. So if we just go over here in this corner, we see the white, then we see the blue, and then we see this yellow. So I think if we just draw a line right here, an imaginary line, you can see that entire block, right? It's that arc, and then this is split in two. And then I think no matter kind of how you twist it and move it, you're making these secondary designs. So here you've got the yellow facing um, to the, you've got it facing up to the right. It kind of reminds me of a drunkard's path, one, because it's curving, and maybe this is a variation of a drunkard's path. I don't know. All I know is that I like this quilt. I thought it was simple. I thought, I'm not, I think it's simple in the sense that it's one shape. Um, sewing these tight curves, not simple. Um, when you start making a block about six to eight inches and you start sewing that curve, that curve hits a little different. It's doable. I'm very into curves right now, but it, it hits a little different. It's tight. But just looking at this, it is pretty cool. The secondary shapes that come from this, it's a very sexy curve, you know, that comes down. It's not just a half circle, which is right here in this yellow, but this blue curve comes down and the, the base part of your circle, not so much of it is showing. And so it comes down to this really thin angle here and it's pretty, it's, it's sleek, it's clean. Um, this gives me a masculine feel and I try not to break stuff up into masculine and feminine because, you know, you can get your whole head taken off for stuff like that now, but this one does give me a very masculine kind of vibe. And this is made by George, although I had an aunt, um, on my husband's side named, um, Larry or Freddie or something. So, you know, I don't know, but I like it. It's simple, but it's not. So you get all these swirly designs and whatnot. And I'm liking these swirls. I'm liking this color palette. Um, we've got them coming to a full circle here in the center. And then everything else is just broken off into kind of how do you want to flip it and change it? This is something that I feel like I could possibly do if I had a template that would give me this exact shape. I would love to pick the three colors for this. It would be like picking a three yard quilt, but you know, bigger. And so as you move away from these shapes that are all just kind of twisted and turned, it looks like you have one, two, three, four blocks that all come together that make this shape here. And then we just duplicate it over here on this side. And then you have a couple more here for filler. And then this is just a nice long piece of fabric where you can really get busy with your quilting. You can really do your thing in these big areas of space for quilting. And I like what they've done with the quilting. If we go in for a closer look, we've got some feathers 
that are going around this circle and they're echoed down here. Straight line quilting for the win. I'm not exactly sure what's happening here, but then we have some more straight line quilting right here. This might be either super densely packed or it might be nothing. I just can't quite remember. And this picture is not giving me everything that I need for the details, but let's see. When we come in here, we have some more detail work. We've got some swirls here, some leafing. Looks like it goes through here and then some pebbles that are lining that. And then for the slices, it literally looks like orange slices. Um, with, I guess you kind of say this is a feather, kind of a feathery shape. And we've got one shape drawn here and then it's being echoed and then brought back around and then comes up and curves in and comes back around. And I think that's really a nice shape that's inside that shape. And that's happening for the ones that are here. Over here, we have something different happening in this quadrant. We've got kind of like some sunshine rays going. And then we have a different kind of ray happening in this four. I wonder how, if it echoes down here with the same. These two seem to be the same. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it does. So what's happening at the left top side of this quilt is happening down here at the bottom. If you find its counterpart, it looks like it matches. So this one, these two match, these two match. I like that. You are repeating some shapes in some different areas to stay with the continuity. And then if we look in this border, we have like a bridge that comes over and then some ribbon that runs through it. I love that they have this white tiny border. It's such a small detail, but it really sets apart this border and gives it some dimension. It comes forward. I like that and pushes us back just a little bit. And then when you get in the furthest border, we just have some nice, simple straight line quilting on an angle. And we've chosen a binding that is the exact same color so that it all just kind of runs off. I like this. I like this quilt. I think there's something to it. I think it's simple in theory. Curves, you know, a lot of people are scared of curves. I'm hopefully going to be able to teach you guys how not to be scared of curves because I'm really on a curve kick right now. But this is nice. It's nice. There's something about this that I'm really enjoying. I think it's probably the simplicity and color and the simplicity and in, in the, um, the idea of one block just rotated a bunch of different ways to come up with some beautiful secondary striking designs. All right, guys, that was a fun one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. We're going to jump in the comment section and we're going to love all over George. And we are going to give them all the love about their quilt. And tell me what I missed. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you saw. And I will catch you guys on the next one. All right, bye-bye. <music>